Zakynthos. Have you ever heard about this wonderful Greek island? Recently, I had a chance to travel all around it and I'm ready to show you this paradise place in Greece. And trust me on that, there are many unique places to see. So watch this video until the very end, subscribe to my channel and let's travel all the world together. Since my best friend Emma lives on the island of Crete, I firstly flew there and then we went to Zakynthos together. The flight was around 50 minutes and we made probably one of the most beautiful sunrises ever. First of all, we went to our hotel which was located in the rest of Argracia. It was very simple, nothing so special but the people who worked there were super kind. We slept a little bit and then we were ready to start the day. The main city of this island is Zakynthos, so basically the same name as Ed Island. And we came here early in the morning, like 6 in the morning, we just went to eat and sleep, that's it. Now we rested a little bit and we are ready to explore the city. And I found some really nice local place to eat, Taverna. Uh, the reviews were saying that this is a real Greek food and not tourist one. I really want to check it out. Join me for this. In this place, you can test the famous dishes of the local cuisine and worth noting, by the way, that the menu is updated every single day. This is Mario, our bestie, and a real moussaka, not a tourist moussaka. <laughs> we are now in Taverna called Kanduni and oh my god, its impressions are amazing. People who work there, it's a family business, absolutely nice and amazing one. Uh, the food here I already tried so it's super nice. We actually took different kind of not combined dishes with each other But I'm still excited and I know it's gonna be super delicious because this is exactly the place that I would like to visit in Greece Not super touristy, but the local with the great food We took some grilled fish with the rice and also back goat with potatoes and oh my gosh guys It was so delicious. This place is holy rice And then it was time for some walk One of the most interesting facts about this island is that Venetians took it and they lived here for around 300 years. So when you're walking around the Quintas town, you see a lot of influence, Italian influence on architecture. And that's why you won't really find here white blue houses that you might expect in Greece. Instead, you see colorful apartments with the beautiful arches. And I think it's the arches that remind me of Italy that much. We didn't have a goal to see all the main sides of the city, but just to feel its atmosphere, and I think we did it well. By the way guys, I forgot to tell you the other day that one of the most unique things of this island that most of the churches have a tower and I think it's super interesting because usually in Greece I, I've been on a few islands and I've never seen this like number of the churches with towers before it also reminds something of Italy and you can see it all the way all around the island unfortunately on the motorbike I was quite scared to record them Anyways, this is how we spent our first day Good morning guys, it's a new beautiful hot day and we're ready to explore the island. We're going now to one really famous beach here and yeah, super excited. Let's go, let's check it out and to see if it's worth it. We don't need a 
We went across the island to the port of Agias Nicolas. It's worth noting that the island is small, so the road took us only an hour. However, during this hour, we saw the stunning beauty of Zakynthos, which is, by the way, not particularly hilly, so it was comfortable to drive. To get to the famous beach, we took a tour for 20 euros on a small tourist boat. On the way, we saw another trash of Zakynthos. The blue caves were leather with some a little bit. And the beauty of it, well, guys, no words needed. You see everything yourself. And this is where we were going to a truly unique place called Navagio. History says that people were transporting contrabanded cigarettes to Italy when, due to the bad weather, the ship plunked into the water from which it couldn't get out. The crew fled, leaving the ship standing on the shore where it's currently located. Now we finally came to the most iconic beach of this island, Shiverk. Here you can see a destroyed, really old ship. And this is the most touristy place, so you can actually see many tourist boats. Since all the large tourist boats arrive at this beach in the morning, I strongly advise you to come either in the middle of the day or in the evening so you can swim in this other water without groups of tourists and trust me, it's absolutely worth it. Han, what do you think about this place? I really love it. I always want to come here because it's a really famous beach. <laughs> Even the Greeks and tourists, everyone. And would you say it's worth visiting even though it's so touristic? Yeah, totally, totally. It's something special, I think. Yes. Also, you can see the water. You will show them later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the sun is white as the hills do. And they are really tiny, small stones that I don't have a problem. But the I have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I have a problem. So painful. <laughs> <laughs> Not that painful, but still amazingly. Totally <laughs> worth to coming here and try not to the big, huge, touristic boat. Yes. yes. Later we were very hungry, so we decided to visit a tavern which was recommended to us by two locals. It's located just 10 minutes from Agios Nikolos. We took the grilled cheese, back and salad, bruschetta with tomatoes and risotto with the seafood. Honestly, risotto not so good, but salad and cheese was fine though. I will be very honest, we didn't like the food there that much. It was ok, but not very tasty. However, locals told us later that this place is famous for its meat dishes, so we should have taken it. By the way, you might be wondering what is the background noise is. It's tzatziki insect which you can meet all over Greece in summer. Uh, the name of that beach is Xigia, mm -hmm. Greek, which means uh, the fat. <coughs> it's like we call that from uh, like the dead body when we yeah. separate the fat to the meat. Mm -hmm. And a woman who suggested this beach, she says that when you are going close to the beach, you will feel the smell of an egg. Yeah, you, you we can feel it already. Yeah. Yeah. But mm -hmm. it's also like a natural spa for your body, yeah. it can help you tan. It got the name from Xiya, that part that I told you, because you can see something on the top of the water, on the sea. Yeah. Fat. But mm -hmm. MC was like, you can take it by your hand and apply it in your body. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> These white things like really small piece of fat. Of course, it's not a real fat. This natural spring water filled with collagen and sulfur. Emma, can you please tell about the temperature of water? Yes. Okay. So when you get on the sea in the beginning, you are feeling that it's super hot, it's super cold. I'm sorry, because the top of the water is cold. But when you are getting inside, it's warm. Mm -hmm. So now I'm not feeling cold. Well, I'm feeling very cold, so I'm going out <laughs> right now. When traveling around Zakynthes, you can easily notice the traces of fires that unfortunately often occur on the island. As locals told us, in the past, Zakynthes was much greener and with a huge trace around. Friends, we just stopped here for a second because we saw the place that we are going to from the Yubu and oh my gosh, can't wait to go down. Sad boy.
Without any planning on the way to one famous beach here on the island, we saw a sign of the local winery and Emma and I decided why not to try it. We drove for seven kilometers along the beautiful road and now we came to this gorgeous winery. It's a family business for many years already. Everybody is super nice as always in Greece and I can't wait to start drinking wine. <laughs> the wine tasting will cost 10 euros and you will taste six different local wines. I'm not an expert in wine, but our favorite was a smoked wine, which was made after the fire in the wine yards. The aftertaste was so unique and unusual that I definitely advise you to try it out. Our next stop was this beach with the white rocks around. It was so beautiful, but guys, I decided to rest a little bit and just to enjoy it, not filming much. So I didn't make many videos, but it's must visit. Everything was absolutely wonderful. There is a taverna next to this beach and we decided to try it out. The food was good, by the way, much better than the previous one. So I can advise it. Good morning guys, it's a brand new day and our last day in Zakynta, so we want to take the most of it. We came to this beautiful brunch place called Isangra, very nice one and we took such a good, thank you so much. Thank you. Efkaristo. <laughs> And we took these beautiful pancakes, also some sandwich, where it's to eat and go to another side of the island. This time we decided to visit another side of the island, the place which is very famous for turtles. And this time we wanted to rent our own boat. It costed us 120 euros for three hours. I think it's absolutely worth it. It was amazing. I think it was the brightest memories of this trip. Then we went to Merfanesi beach. I think it's a little bit overrated because people are saying that you can see turtles, but in fact there is only eggs and you can't go much of the island. But later on the way back we saw a real big turtle. Oh my god, I was so impressed. No words needed. Guys, we just saw a turtle, a huge one in the sea. We were behind the prepared, we were without masks. One swimmer just gave us masks to see it. Taking anything to record on the water, but oh my god, it's incredible! You, if you want to get the same experience, I truly advise you this company. Thank you so much, it was absolutely amazing! So beautiful! Hey, buddy! Hello, my friend! Emma, let's go to eat! And we ordered some salad with vegetables and cheese. Here there is a chicken that looks so delicious and cheese pie. I can't wait to try all this because I'm super hungry, so let's eat. The food was very good. It seemed like my granny cooked something for me, like my great granny. <laughs> I advise you this place. Oh my god, there are many. <laughs> Mm. 
Guys, this is already the end of our trip. We just reached the airport and going back to Crete. And I will tell you this, that this island is a must visit in Greece. It's absolutely lovely, super beautiful. The nature, the architecture, people, people, people. They're amazing. I really hope you can visit it one day. And if you like this video, don't forget to push the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to leave a comment for YouTube algorithm. And consider supporting me on Patreon. I will see you next week in some other country. Oh, I don't know where. <laughs> we will see. See you guys.